the relative chance of danger. But um, David Piper did suffer a huge accident in a 917, which gave the driver very little protection, and cars in general of that era gave hardly any protection, because the driver was not really thought too much about, because it was the performance of the car, so the lightness of it, that, that uh, made things that are quite, cars quite flimsy. And uh, David went off uh, on a scene we did through White House and uh, onto the beginning of the pit straight. And there was, um, I think Mike Parks was leading. Uh, I was second in line with the camera car. And David was coming up in another 917. And um, we did a few runs of this and everything was fine. And then this one time we were just about done, I think. We did another run. And uh, we, we used to get past the White House scene onto the, a wide bit of track where we could afford to just stop and turn around and come back. And uh, Mike Parts, we have stopped and Mike Parts got out of his car. I got out of my car and we said, uh, where's David? And I said, well, I don't know. Well, I, mean, I wasn't looking in the mirror to see where David was. And that's when he'd, he'd got off, uh, whether it was a tire failure or, or it's still a mystery. And uh, he went uh, into a, a, a barrier that should have prevented what happened to the car. But the barrier was mounted on, uh, well, just behind a little rivulet type of thing, a bit of a, a small stream, a waterway. And the, um, the posts were put into this um, banking, which was relatively soft. And the, the barrier folded away and then the car took off and then it destroyed itself in a field. And I've, I remember, I think somebody took some shots of it of, and I, I've got them somewhere. Some, I haven't seen them for years. But there were, I think, at least two bits of car, maybe three bits of car. And I didn't go to the scene at the time. I, did, I didn't want to go there. And I, I don't, in general, ever want to go there. And, uh, but apparently David was, was still strapped to the in the car, well, well, out of the car, the car, the front of the car had gone. And there was a horrendous accident. And he would have been fine, but uh, typically in, uh, you know, we've heard these things before in a French hospital, but there was something in there that shouldn't have been there. And uh, he still had his leg when he left to fly to England and went to Porton Place Hospital there. And, um, and uh, they, his leg was amputated some uh, I don't know, two or three weeks later. That was a, it's a big tragedy, he lost his leg. He shouldn't have lost his leg. It's his right leg. Uh, he, he's amazing how he's um, lived the rest of his life. And uh, people, you know, walking, see him walking, you wouldn't know. It was amazing. His amazing uh, recovery was, was complete.